Is technology speeding up human evolution, or are we just spinning our wheels? Artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, implantable chips, and life extension. These and many other technologies are being promoted as the way for humanity to become something radically different. The transhumanist movement claims that by applying them to our biology, we will become post-human. A new religion for a new age is being born, and it centers around man's scientific attainment of eternal life. The philosopher's stone of the alchemists now appears to be within reach. Revolve takes you beyond the typical singularity sales pitch to bring you face to face with something far more profound, disturbing, and ancient. So reads the synopsis from the book Revolve, Man's Scientific Rise to Godhood by Aaron Franz, who also created the film Age of Transitions, which also deals with the concept of transhumanism and converging technologies. Um, so I was, I was lucky enough to receive a copy of the book when we interviewed Aaron last year, and I, I read it sort of, I think about late, I got I finished it in August, I think, and uh, I'm only just getting around to doing a review of it now. But um, I think most importantly what I'd like to say about this book is it's a very complete book. Um, it's very well written and well rounded, um, especially for a first publication. And it's um, unlike a dry sort of academic book which is very exclusive and takes a lot of effort to read. Um, it puts the subject material into a context that we can relate to and observe in our everyday lives. Um, it appeals to both the newcomer and someone who might already be familiar with the material um, and does a great job of illustrating how this technical, uh, technological um, and cultural uh, revolution could be observed in almost everything that's going on in the world today. Um, Revolve examines the concept of transhumanism in a number of different ways. Um, most of the popular material that's available on the subject tends to focus strictly on the technology um, and it also tends to simply promote these technologies as new ideals that have just come into view recently. Um, there's no history provided, uh, there's no information given on who's behind these big projects uh, or where the money's coming from or who, who, who's in charge really. Um, the big difference with Revolve is that it explores the underlying histories and philosophies behind transhumanism and it does a good job of explaining the long lineage of ideas and goals uh, which transhumanism has been born out of. Um, it goes into some real depth on the occult and mystical aspects of these issues and illustrates the fact that they're goals which have been pursued in one way or another throughout the ages um, by you know the various occult and sort of esoteric societies and it, it really also illustrates that what we're going through now is the realization of an ancient uh, long-term project to uh, perfect the human species by basically people that see us as imperfect and of course when we're talking about those people and talking about esoteric societies we're talking about the ruling class um, who seem to have always existed in one form or another. Um, the other important point about Revolve is that it examines the way certain ideas and memes uh, which endorse or legitimize this big technological revolution in some way have been embedded into our culture through fiction and other forms of media so that we end up passively adopting these ideas as our own uh, without realizing that they've been given to us. Um, I think this is a really important concept and it's not something that you're likely to find in any popular literature or, or media that relates to transhumanism or, or anything else for that matter. But, um, but again, it is a very well-rounded book, so there's still plenty of information on the various forms of new technologies and systems that are defining this um, technological revolution and the kinds of uh, you know, NGOs, corporations and, and whatnot that are leading the charge sort of on the um, governmental and industrial level. So we're sort of talking you know, virtual reality, implantable chips, AI, nanotech, uh, smart materials, um, brain machine interfaces, etc, etc. So it gives you plenty of documentable uh, black and white facts to ponder, whilst at the same time providing you with a comprehensive and a well-emphasized narrative which takes you through the histories and the underlying philosophies, um, especially relating to the concept of alchemy and revolution, and um, gives you a wider and more complete context in which to view these issues. So I would definitely recommend this book to anyone who's interested in these kinds of subjects, um, whether you're completely new to it or you've been researching it for a while, um, because it will definitely deepen your understanding of what all this is 
and it will give you a comprehensive picture of where it's all come from and where it's all going. Um, <clears throat> you can visit the book's homepage and download a PDF of the first chapter for free at www.theageoftransitions.com and you can buy the book uh, both in paperback and the Kindle version at Amazon. And um, please also check out our interview with Aaron, which is up on our YouTube channel. Thanks.